Welcome back guys, Patrick Wagner here, Digital 100, episode number 19. Today I'm talking about Instagram, and uh, I know the last episode was about Instagram. Today I want to follow up with you guys and tell you a little bit about what's been happening on Instagram. So I've been reaching out to people very aggressively, so direct messaging, following individuals and then messaging them, uh, replying to their comments, replying to their messages. Um, so there's lots of ways you can interact with folks on Instagram. So I've been doing a lot of work. I've been increasing my followers very aggressively because of that on all my multiple accounts for different brands and products that we promote. And it's amazing to me. I think Instagram is probably the best business platform out there. I'm not even sure why people use LinkedIn. I think it's offensive to think that LinkedIn has a real opportunity. The amount of business that's happening on Instagram is mind blowing. So now I'm getting lots of different people also responding to me and you end up getting, you know, the bots that are out there. So girls who are looking for dates, obviously there is a robot. Uh, people who are looking to sell you binary options or people who are trying to sell you some sort of Bitcoin thing. Again, robots, garbage, ignore that stuff. Um, people who their very first text message is, oh, here's my referral to a program or by the way, I sell this, delete it, remove it, block them. You know, anybody who responds as a real person and has a real conversation with you, I like to take the first 10 likes or random 10 likes on some of my posts, look at those profiles and look at the individual and reply with something very specific to them. I'm not going to force stuff and I don't want to sell stuff to people, nor should you. I think the most important thing on Instagram is connect with people to see if there is a connection and if there's a way you can help them. You really have to do the proper type of networking where you lead with how you help first and not just how you can make a sale from someone. I think the worst thing you could do on Instagram and social in general is just front facing. Here's my here's my sell. Here's my hard sell. Buy, buy, buy. Here's the new product today, this week, whatever it is. Here's a special and no real story and no real interaction or understanding for the individual. So. As you DM, you're gonna get lots of these types of responses coming back to you. What you're really looking for is the quality real people. So I love DMing and I love chatting with people. I used to hate this kind of idea of chatting on, on forums back 10, 20 years ago. I thought it was kind of weird and creepy. And I find with Instagram, it's just amazing how easy it is to meet people and, and really awesome people. So what I wanted to share on this video was some of my experiences recently so you guys know what to kind of look out for and how to protect yourselves and also how to check. So if someone asks me a question, I'm not revealing too much because I don't know who they are and, and really assume a person is a robot almost all the time, you know, unless they prove otherwise, you know, and if someone leads with a hard sell of any kind, just delete them and block them and move on. You're really looking for real individuals who want to work with you, want to talk to you, just like you would at a networking event. So recently, Every morning I wake up super early, around 5.15 in the morning, 5.30, and I get onto Instagram and I look at my DMs and I look at all the posts and then I reach out to folks and I start, you know, having conversations with people quite early. So the other day, a gentleman, again, didn't have a, a picture on his profile, didn't have a, an individual's name on his actual profile and reached out and just say, hey, how are things? So again, I assume it's a robot. I responded back going, great. Hope you're doing well too. You know, not thinking much of it. He responds back, oh, that's awesome. You know, I am here by a, a waterfalls, I believe he said, or so I, I'm, cause I asked in my message, so how's your day going? And he's like, oh, fantastic. I'm really near the near this amazing waterfall. It's very beautiful here. I'm, you know, hiking around today and I was thinking to myself, whoa, that sounds amazing. Hold on a second. You're near a waterfall and you're DMing me on Instagram? Mm. I don't believe it all of a sudden all my radars, you know, go off flag, flag. Yeah, sure, sure. Cause I looked at the profile and the profile was motivational and inspirational stuff, but no specific pictures. And the first thing that pops off in my head is this would be the most incredible content in the world. You're near a, a, a waterfall. I don't believe you. So I basically called his bluff and said, sure, sure, sure. If you were really near a waterfall, you'd be posting this beautiful content for people to see. I said, because some people like myself may never end up having the opportunity to see the waterfall you're in front of. All this time, I'm positive that this is either, you know, some sort of a, a bot, or again, now I've maybe stumbled upon an individual in some other country, just kind of, you know, poking me and just kind of, you know, pushing the story, right? So 
I was about to kind of just delete, move on. And so I said, you know what? If this is true, send me a picture, right? Um, you know, if you've ever watched a show, it's called Catfish on MTV. My daughters watch it and we watched it up at the, I think earlier this year, we went to Orlando to see like Universal and Disney. So I got stuck in a room watching uh, this crazy show. And it's all about how people get tricked online. And one of the number one things they teach is if someone's not willing to show their face, if someone's not willing to call you by voice, then you know you're being scammed. So I told the person right away, great, waterfalls me. Show me the waterfalls, buddy, because I don't believe it. I'm 100% sure this is fake. There's no way there's a waterfalls. And bam, I get this picture back. And that's the point when it kind of hit me in the face. It was, a, it was a happy slap in the face where I realized, wow, this thing in Instagram is wild. So I get this message and then a few more. And I'm like, this is amazing. And I get this picture. And so I meet my new friend, Abdu, and he's from Morocco. And that's his handle there. Go follow him. It's at P-O-L-A-T-D-O-N. So P-O-L-A-T-D-O-N. So as we converse and chat, I find out he's from Morocco. I'd love to go to Morocco. And I told him, I said, it's amazing that you're there and I'd love to come. And, you know, we chat back and forth and very smart, intelligent guy. And I said, these are the kind of pictures that people would love. I mean, this is a place that a lot of people may never go to. And I think it's amazing through Instagram that you can share these types of things with people. And to be honest with you, you know, he called my bluff. I was positive this was fake. There's no way some random person on Instagram is behind a waterfalls or whatever. And again, can go further and say okay these are pictures from before but nonetheless the conversation was real the pictures are there the individuals are there so I was excited because he said he didn't really want any kind of attention or anything I said no I just want to share the story with people to make them understand that you know when you direct message people um, when you take the chance on Instagram when you take the chance on social media amazing things will happen and you really will start to see this global community that appears um, nonetheless you want to focus on let's say maybe your local community but finding like-minded people who are interested in the same things as you are, whether that's local business people or people who use your product or solution or people who just think about the same things that you do. Instagram is a fantastic place for finding that stuff. And uh, I'm just so amazed at all the cool people that I've uh, bumped into on Instagram. And that's why I kind of wanted to do this video because I'm, I'm going to be talking about Twitter next. And I think Twitter and Instagram are very similar. The, the work you put in on both creating the content and reaching out to people who create content within the niche that you're talking about, within the hashtag community that you're trying to live in is really your number one way of, of building great content, building great contacts, finding great new business and clients. And again, always be thinking about how you can add value. You know, don't be going out to individuals on Instagram with, here's what I have, buy it. How do you, how much money do you have? Because I need it. No, don't do that. Really make sure if you're direct messaging people that you do have some sort of a free offer, that do you do have a way of helping people. Um, in a lot of the work that I do with some of the social media companies, we actually work with reaching out with people saying, hey, we will do this for free. Actually, we took some of your photos, we retouched them, we added some, some words to them and we put them up here. If you would like to use them at no cost, please do. And that's a way of showing that we actually wanna build some value in the relationship. So make sure you do that when you're on Instagram. Reach out to people. You're going to meet some awesome people out there. Make sure you take that approach of mine, which is assume everybody is a robot and assume everything is some sort of an AI. Um, ask people for pictures. Ask people for information. You know, that idea of being able to show a picture of yourself with the local newspaper. I know it sounds crazy, but those are the things that really prove to you. Watch that catfishing show on MTV. I think you'll laugh and, and understand how easy it is to fake yourself on business and how easy it is to fake yourself on the internet. And I think Instagram is a great way of getting past that because you really can engage with folks. And if someone engages with you on Instagram, it's pretty much a warm lead or a very hot lead for a business. So you don't want to let those people go. I'm still amazed at how many people run Instagram ads and will not reply to direct messages. I don't get it. It's like having the door to your business closed, but you just ran a big promotion all around the city 
and you're sitting there at the back of the store and the front of the door is locked and you're wondering, hey, I did a lot of promo. I hear a lot of buzz about this, but nothing happened. I don't get it, right? To be that disconnected on social media is beyond inappropriate. So you really, at this point, need to be making a stronger offensive move. You know, make an effort to DM people every day. Make an effort to reply to comments every day. Make an effort to reach out to the people who've liked your comments and see who they like, see their profile. Um, make an effort. It's kind of like saying if you went to a networking event and you sat in the corner and went around to 20 people and just said, buy me, buy this, give me your money. And at the end of it, you stood there, you went through 20 and no one liked you and you wonder, well, why? I don't get it. This stuff doesn't work. Networking is garbage. Working with people is stupid. Partnering is dumb. That doesn't make any sense, right? You really want to approach it from a very different perspective point of view and number one is being self-aware so that you know what you have to offer and you understand what the other individual is looking for in value and that way you guys can connect at some level and make some sort of partnership or make some sort of a solution together or provide your solution to that individual it's definitely not going to happen with some sort of a front-end hard sell but it is going to happen showing individuals who you are your brand your product, your solution over and over in different formats and different ways. Um, so I think one of the things we will end up doing on the show a little bit more is just reviewing different types of businesses and different types of profiles and giving you content strategies as well as branding strategies to, to, to take advantage of it. Because I think too many people are limited in their idea of what they think social media is and what it was three or five years ago is very different than what it is today. And knowing where that attention is and making sure you can get your business, your solution, whatever you you want to talk about in front of people, you got to know where they are and you know how you know how you have to know how to talk to them. Right. And I think that's a big key. And it's not just just promoting and advertising to individuals. It's going to be reaching out to individuals and looking at their businesses, looking at their posts, liking some of their posts, looking at the individuals who follow them, understanding the same thing you would do at a networking event. You'd understand what business they have. You'd understand how popular their business is within the community. You'd understand some of the elements and things that they do that help them become successful in their business within your community. You know, that's what you really want to do on Instagram in the same way. You're going to build that network. You're going to find individuals that are doing great. You're going to learn about how their approach might work for your industry and making sure you produce a lot of great quality content and you engage your audience properly. But in order to engage your audience properly, you need to be engaging. And so that's what I wanted to share in this video is understanding that you need to engage. You need to move forward. You need to go forward and direct message people. You need to not worry about what's going to happen and who's going to reply and what they're going to say. You know, there's so many opportunities out there that you have to actually work harder on just catching up to all the opportunities. Then you have to worry about which ones won't work. So take the time on Instagram, figure out what your community is, figure out what the group of hashtags are, and you can live within that community. You can find influencers within your community. You can find other businesses and do some cross promotions, contents and strategies. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment on this video below. I'll uh, do a video in response to you. Like I said, in the next couple of weeks, we're gonna go over businesses and strategies. Recently, one of them that came up to me was a gentleman out of South Africa. He was a model, didn't know what to do and said, what do I do? How do I produce more content? I'd like to get more jobs. You know, the first thing I thought of, because I have a friend who's a model, a professional model who's, you know, takes it seriously. I think she studies books constantly about modeling and poses. And I think she knows hundreds, if not close to a thousand different poses and has them memorized and knows these nuances. And that's why she's a successful model. And so I basically said to him, I said, your best bet is to show a hundred poses, you know, go get the book, study the poses, show them to your audience, show them, you know, obviously to the potential photographers that are out there, but also show all the other models here, guys, you need to know these top 100 poses that gives you your next hundred pieces of content that's engaging for you. And if I'm a photographer and I'm looking at this going, wow, Jerry, you can do these hundred poses. Number 47 is exactly what I'm looking for for this campaign. You're hired, right? And, and again, he was just blown away going, wow, that sounds great. I got to do that. 
So I think that's what we're going to do a little bit more on the show. So if you have a, you know, a profile on Instagram, a business, something that you'd like us to look at and give you some content ideas, give you a little bit of strategy and direction, you know, drop your information in the comments or reach out to me at Patrick Wagner on Twitter or at wags dot on Instagram. And I'd love to help your business be successful. Thanks very much, guys. Have a great day and keep building digital business. Thank <laughs> you.